We're down on the Darwin subdivision right now. We're with 1986. You guys just won a huge match. The Wolves likely lock in the number one seed in your division. You guys just defeated 11-14 Symbotics. Uh, what was the key to success for you guys in that last match? Um, the key to success for us in that last match was putting up our 40 in auto, and we pulled out our auto that we've only done once, where we take off for the middle hopper, and we, uh, we made it to the middle hopper, basically, essentially in auto, while still shooting our uh, renowned KPA in auto, along with four rotors. So you guys just got your first regional win just uh, a couple of weeks ago at Seven Rivers uh, that we covered on First Updates Now. Uh, one of the things I think that you guys get asked a lot, I'm sure, that's maybe a naysayer thing, is you guys use mechanum wheels, right? So, a couple questions for you. Talk about mechanum a little bit. What was your decision process behind that? And let's talk about eight mechanum wheels. Why did we go with eight mechanum wheels on 1986? So this year, we just saw it kick off. There's so many little side-to-side -side alignment tasks. Shooting, putting a gear on at the loading station and trying to slip through those tight alleys, something omnidirectional helped a lot. We haven't prototyped a swerve in the past, so we decided to test a mechanic drive and found we liked it. The And I'll talk on eight. Um, for eight mechanics, we tried, we had drop center test chassis all around the shop, so we couldn't t test eight before we had to cut our drivetrain. So we cut it where we could do eight and then take out four. When we put in eight, we found we had a lot more uh, pushing resistance, better weight distribution, less wear. We had we strafed straighter, and we didn't see any downside to doing that. And so we decided to make mechanics great again. So when you guys came out with uh, your reveal video here, we saw an amazing autonomous come out. And last year before, you guys you guys had some pretty cool reveal videos with you know multiple different autonomous modes, that sort of thing. This year, you guys really came through. You showed an amazing set of autonomous scoring action, and you guys are continually doing it over and over again. What's your key to success of getting your autonomous just functioning and working every single time? Uh, so I really think that our key to success when we did this was a lot of really working hard as a group and just working out the problems and making sure that we focus on the ones that are affecting us the most. Uh, we spent quite a few long nights working on it to make sure that we just uh, worked out all of the kinks and did everything we possibly could. Along with the auto, for our auto, we built our robot for this auto. This, uh, we built the robot from the ground up with our mechanisms to move to the hopper. We built our shooters so we're sitting up against the hopper, collecting the ball, shooting in. We built it for Red Autonomous, and it does what we built it for. So congratulations, by the way. You guys got uh, number three in our FRC Top 25 poll. You guys have definitely earned that on there. Uh, we have the Looking Forward poll coming up on our next show. Uh, what are you guys going to do as you guys look to make a deep run here on Darwin to really impress the Looking Forward poll to make sure you guys are getting up in the number one? Uh, we're just going to try and keep doing the things we've done. You know, hitting those 40 KPA autos is the biggest thing. You know, we want to get those 40, those 40 KPA real early in the match so that we can help our partners run gears and help get those four rotors. Well, good luck to you guys. We'll look forward to a fantastic run here on Darwood. Good luck with the line selection process tonight. You guys got a lot of decisions to make tonight. We'll see you guys pick tomorrow morning. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you.